beautiful light. Isn't it just nice morning light hitting the trees? What better way to start a day? Spring coming through in the garden there. And then this view. Isn't it? Nice to see the sun. All the wild garlic and stuff yeah. coming through now. Add some colour. Yeah, the, the white flowers are lovely and the smell. And the green of the grass. <laughs> It's all the old mountain biking routes all this, you know. I'm sort of going to do a trainer route over here. Did you? Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of tracks though. Well, I noticed yeah, that when great. I was up in, uh, up in the wood. There's absolutely oodles, middle track. There's, it's basically a, a high track, which yeah. are up there, that follows the edge of the woods and the moors. Yeah. There's an undulating middle one. Then there's a lower, lower path that follows the edge of the woods, the bottom, the foot well, of the hill. I remember talking about uh, how music had saved my life. And noticing this bike track, <laughs> it just comes out of bushes. <laughs> it looks like they jump over the actual path that I'm on. Yeah. And then land at the other side. Yeah. But the, uh, the cross all the footpaths, some of them. Morning, you... All right, lad. Hello, mate. Hello, Sean. How are you? All right, mate, how are you? Yes, absolutely brilliant, mate. Nice Get... to see you. I know. Getting some filming done. I am. You're just out and uh, getting some miles in again, eh? Mindful walking, eh? Aye, absolutely. Oh, there you go, mate. So... <laughs> Absolutely. It's great up here. Yeah, I was obviously up there the other day and then me and Dave just gonna come take a different path. Where are you headed? Well, that way. Hangerstone's fantastic. Stone. You get You've cleared, I haven't been there, they've cleared all the trees, haven't they? Around it. A little bit, so, yeah. Yeah, east have sort of been closed by the trees. There's a it? couple of ways you can go. You can get right at the top of this track, head on. Yeah. Go up the unsuitables, do you know that one? Yeah. Well, the way we're going, we're going to go to uh, the path along to Rosebury, you know, the, the middle Oh, path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bench there, isn't it? Sit there, yeah, have a yeah. natter, then go cut up, back up. And, and, yeah, and go back up. Yeah, it'll be lovely. A bit muddy, but it'll be nice. Ah. Great that, stuff. That, just a been out and out yeah, about, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out last Sunday and it was unbelievable. The conditions were perfect. Yeah. Today, not so good on this, but. Well, keep, go. keep, get your lungs going, mate. It, well, it certainly will. It certainly <laughs> will. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Get yeah. I could go home and lay in bed all day. I know. <laughs> enjoy, Sean. Enjoy. Take and care, you, buddy. Fella, yeah. See you later. We've just walked yeah, yeah, literally 10 minutes into the walk. As you just saw, I've met Sean there. I've seen Sean for a while. And then Dave's just met an old mate. And if we wouldn't have been out today, or if we hadn't have been out today, these connections wouldn't be made. Absolutely lovely. So we're, uh, I've just found out that we're going to Hanging Stone, as you heard the conversation. So that'd be good. Go somewhere new. Forested the whole place around it. I mean, Highcliff as well, if you look at Highcliff, well, not the top part, but all the sides, it was full of uh, trees 15, 20 years ago. Right. There's just a path next to it, you couldn't really see it from the path. Being cleared. Yeah, well, they, they do deforestation, and the Forestry Commission is returning the land back, I think it's Lord Zetland, and it's becoming uh, less cost effective to get the trees at uh, quite inaccessible places, i.e. on the edge of hills because of the, yeah. the, the, the machinery they're having to use. So what they're doing is they're clearing loads of the area that's uh, unsustainable financially and they're just replanting deciduous yeah. trees. I mean, these aren't being planted, these are... But that's what they're replacing it with. So the easy areas, they'll still forest. The harder areas have a return to nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
just love the contrast of the colours mm. on a day like this. This time of year especially. All the vibrant colours in a month's time, wasn't it? Yeah, coming back to life. People from the higher altitudes in Europe as a garden plant, architectural garden plant. And it, this prolific growth, it just went wild. Rhododendron. Mm. Native to the Alps, you say, yeah? Mm. The sort of latitude it grows. Yeah. I'll be taking this set up with the camera down there, mate. Yeah. I just like having this time, you know. I don't know if it's because of the older I've got, I just appreciate it more, or... It's partly to do with it, but it's also, you reconnect with things, like... Yeah. You know, let's like, say, it's a great strategy on the planet, it's a country side. But I think Covid had a lot to do with that. Covid has brought a lot more awareness. When you well, yeah. Got the choice. You'd rather have the choice of not going out for a walk and not yeah. being able to go out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd rather agree. choose not to than go out. And then I'm thinking, I think I put it in the last video, you'd be, you'd be lucky to get me to walk to the shop. <laughs> or in the car. On the days that I didn't take the car. Yeah, though. No. Well, like, how bad am I? Yeah. I know that sounds like inner critic, but actually there's better ways to actually treat yourself. <laughs> it's the best exercise, it's low impact. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's cerebral. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's very. Let's say we're clever monkeys, and this is what we, we were developed for. I love our that. environment. Clever monkeys. Yeah. Some of us, maybe. Oh, Hoping that more people are. At least we've got a pause for thumbs. Open doors and things. Yeah. And a neocortex that can really screw you up. <laughs> <laughs> This is just mint, man. The spirit of the woodland. Yeah. Red line, orange line, that's coming down. Because I found a, a plant in the garden, actually. It was growing in a pot. And it was developing leaves like a maple leaf. I think it's sycamore. Yeah. Uh, and uh, got towards Christmas. Well, got towards winter and these these would turn brown and fall off and think, oh, this plant's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Took me a little while to realise it was an actual tree. <laughs> this was winter. <laughs> it sheds its leaves. Because <laughs> next year it came back, I was like, oh, this plant's come back. Yeah. I think, oh, do you know what? I think it's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in a little pot and the leaves are absolutely massive. It's an evergreen massive. bush. <laughs> right term, Clive. Perennial. Follow this straight on. <sighs> I'm not the most educated people. You are. <laughs> you are. Well, that says I'm uh, you play yourself down intelligent, well. but I've got no common sense. <laughs> well, as a That's you might, might. It's, it's like you, you, everyone's experts in something. You know? Well, experts know it's knowledge. Mum's like Marjorie, though. I've got a lot of knowledge, of, but a lot of things, but not deep knowledge. <laughs> Just the, just the top coat. Top coat? Enough, mate. But just enough to get me by. Yeah, absolutely. Have a conversation on it. Like I'm thinking Coppice and Pollard are thinking, can I get that right now? I've known for years, it's the, the same yeah. as, uh, what is it, a coat. Right. And uh, there you go, my memory's going. I'm a little bit similar. And I used to know, I used to say, 
There's a kilt in question, and that's not the other one. Uh, well, the pollarding, I know, from the, this gate to the chateau, the Dick Strawbridge, he did that to the rice. To the trees that are on. Oh, I can't remember what, what type of trees they are, not bad. But yeah, he did that. Right. You can turn left. I think it's Newton lower. Yeah. The steps goes all the way up to the top of this. That's uh, three years, four years. That's changed so much. Opened up completely. That's where we're going. That's the hanging stone. Yeah. You can just be between the trees there. Okay. I'll lead the way. I think I'll just sit on my backside and slide. Whoa. Who is a clever monkey? <sighs> See high bridge, you couldn't see uh, 
Rotary top is this to make sure. So they've uh, trimmed back a lot up here as well? Yeah, they've cleared loads. Absolutely. I thought they'd been replanting though. It's amazing how close we are to the moors, to be honest. Love it. Another I love the moors. I attraction really of living in the area. Very lucky to be up there. Have isolation in your environment. Yeah. In England, you know. It's, it thins out. You see the odd people coming up the side, but not many. Normally. You always saw mountain bikers, which I say people were prams. <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect to see people with prams today. Follow this on the top, it takes you all the way to High Cliff. I've right. been saying to Dave, I'll watch some of these videos back. Then realise I'm so far away from home, my car is parked three miles away. <laughs> and all I can think about right now is just what's the next step? What's the next step? Enjoy the view. Like I'm getting carried along, sat in a chair, which is a weird feeling. Um, it doesn't feel arduous. Nicely spaced out breaks in the walks. Just doing what you can when you can and enjoying it. So many parallels to mental health. But again, I'm not going to try and talk too much about that stuff today after my long and arduous rant the other day. Well, it wasn't a rant. <laughs> no. It's a rant now and then, no Mike, It's getting it? used to talking like about things, I suppose, in a open way. It's always a challenge. It is for everybody. I'm just probably a little bit more comfortable with my journey now, feeling the benefits of it. So I think one of the things that I'm really having to appreciate is pacing myself. The I mean, bigger the walk, the more you have to pace yourself. Well, when you don't know how big the walk is, that's a kind of fundamental, <laughs> <laughs> fundamental See, I issue. I know how they are, but I, <laughs> yeah. I'm, the problem with me is I'm, think, I'm living off past glories. Yeah. You know, <laughs> thinking that's only three miles up there, that's nothing. That. <laughs> now it's, Christ. That was five years ago. Oh, God, I was younger then. <laughs> yeah. I am getting old. <laughs> well, yeah, just uh, re recognising from the camera movement of how fast I'm walking. And then if you look at the end of the last video, you can see it's like, Gingerly does it, just one step at a time. <laughs> like that, yeah, 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 literally. I was literally like Frankenstein's monster, trying to walk down this path, scaring everybody who came my way. to come and do this together, you know. Yeah. Can't do it. Off hi. Um. See, I just say hi if I don't know if it's morning or afternoon. I just say hi. It's well, I can tell by the shadows. <laughs> this time, the long shadows mean it's the sun's at the highest depot. So I know it's, it's 12 uh, o'clock. Six minutes past. Six minutes. Oh, it wasn't far away. <laughs> Unlike some people we know. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's almost into it. Farm being next, but it wasn't. It was this farm house you took me to, and I'm so grateful. I always say, I'm so glad you took me here, guys. I said, because uh, that was it, burnt in my childhood memory. <laughs> but where it was, I never knew. I told him came the opposite way to where we went. He came off the mower. 
Right. And like, when we first approached it was different, I didn't recognise it, and I walked past the, the outbuildings, the ruined farm, and I walked up past this dry stone wall and turned round. Yeah. And the imagery that was in my mind from as a kid, uh, right. it actually uh, matched up, you know. Yeah. It's strange, really strange. So for say. something you hadn't seen for so well, many yeah, years. Yeah, you, you, sort of, you, you, you sort of delude yourself as a child to what you could be, possibly. The, the, where it was. It. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. it was there, yeah. It's funny how memory works that way. Yeah. I remember going up to Stirling and going up to uh, Wallace Monument and uh, just remembering it from being a kid. It's like, yeah. oh wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's such a. So it supplants the memory though, do you know? Yeah. The memory as a kid I've got. Yeah, yeah. Hasn't, it's not really there anymore because yeah. I've been there three or four times now yeah. to this farm, moving far. And that's the memory I got, but I'm so glad he took me, you know. So the memory was stored in a yeah, yeah. distorted way. Yeah, yeah. Now it's gone. You don't need it now. I'll yeah, 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 yeah. Got a new one to replace it. Yeah. But funny enough, the, the year we went would have been about 72, 73, maybe 73. Yeah. And on the, what's left of the class from the farmhouse, there's graffiti from the family in 1973. Right. In pencil, of all things, it's still on the wall. Jeez. And I said, how spooky is that? I said, I was here about 73. That'd be good to go and see. Beast to beast there. Yeah. Was it hill pointing up? Well, I'm just going to sign off for the video now. Uh, thanks to Dave for taking me up to Hanging Rock. Hanging Stone. Hanging, Hanging Stone. Hanging Rock's in Australia, I think. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good point. We're definitely not in Australia. So uh, again, thank you for watching. Uh, be safe. Uh, until next time. Ciao.